Good morning and welcome to the celebration of the baptism of the Lord. Our entrance in is River of Glory.
Almighty and living God, who, when Christ had been baptized in the river Jordan, and as the Holy Spirit descended upon him, solemnly declared to him, Your beloved Son, grant that your children by adoption, reborn of water and Holy Spirit, may always be well pleasing to you through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. Thus says the Lord, Here is my servant whom I hold, my chosen one with whom I am pleased, upon whom I have put my spirit. He shall bring forth justice to the nations, not crying out, not shouting, not making his voice heard in the street. A bruised reed he shall not break, and a smoldering wick he shall not quench, until he establishes justice on the earth. The coastlands wait for his teaching. I, the Lord, have called you for the victory of justice. I have grasped you by the hand. I formed you and set you as a covenant of the people, a light for the nations, to open the eyes of the blind, to bring out prisoners from confinement and from the dungeon those who live in darkness. The word of the Lord. Thank you, Thank you God.
A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Peter spoke to speak to those gathered in the house of Cornelius, saying, In truth, I see that God shows no partiality. Rather, in every nation, whoever fears him and acts uprightly is acceptable to him. You know the word that he sent to the Israelites, as he proclaimed peace through Jesus Christ, who is Lord of all. What has happened over all over Judea, beginning in Galilee after the baptism that John preached, how God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Spirit and power. He went about doing good and healing all those oppressed by the devil, for God was with him. The word of the Lord. Thanks. Thank you. Dear brothers and sisters in Christ, today our church's season of Christmas comes to a close because the baby has become a man. Now in January, we move on. We cannot stay in Bethlehem. Mary and Joseph are born. They left for Nazareth, and of course, Jesus did not stay in Bethlehem anymore. He went to with his parents. Now, Jesus comes as an adult to the Jordan River to fulfill the promise of Bethlehem and to begin the public teaching healing, forgiving, finding, and repairing. He was born to do. Now his public ministry begins. 
at the Jordan River, she just began his public life, new life. When we enter church today, we bless ourselves with the holy water as a reminder of our baptism. As Jesus did at the Jordan River. Do you remember? Do you remember you were baptized? So young, baby? <laughs> I remember here because I was baptized when I was nine years old, so a little bit better. He goes back to a time when the baptismal font was always at the front door. And people would touch, would touch themselves with the baptismal water to recall their baptismal commitment. The baptismal font was our spiritual Bethlehem, where we were born to new life in Christ. It's where we receive the power to live the Christian life. The purpose of the sacrament of baptism is to move us on in our life, now filled with Christ, to be light to others. The first gift of grace, like the gift of life in a newborn baby, is a pleasure. It needs to be strengthened as we grow grow by further sacraments. Confirmation, the Eucharist, and confession. Later, maybe holy orders of a, or holy orders or marriage. Now we try to be light in darkness. Don't look back to Bethlehem. Look at Christ. Christ is here in the Eucharist. Here in ordinary time, He is with us as a spiritual food and strength for us. So we can be light for light to our world in ordinary time of the year. Baptism. Baptism gives us a, a mission in our life to continue continue to work of Christ in Isaiah's words in the first read to open the eyes of the blind to release prisoners and from the dungeon those who live in darkness in other words our baptism means the fidelity to our faith is not only to private but also a public responsibility. Fidelity to our faith is what we call our church and our world. It is how we help make the promise of a Christmas come true in ordinary time, now, and forever. Confession of the faith. I believe one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe one Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages. God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not man, comes with the Father, through he all things were made, for a man for our salvation. He came down from heaven. By the Holy Spirit, when the Son of Virgin Mary, He became man. For our sake, He was put on His He suffered there was the Mary. He rose again the third day in accordance with scriptures. He ascended to heaven. He sits the right hand of the Father. He will come again to glory to judge the living and the dead. And His kingdom will have no end. I believe. 
and in the Holy Spirit, the Lord came of light, focus with the, the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is the Lord and glorified, who has spoken the prophets. I believe one holy Catholic Apostle Church. I confess on baptism for forgiveness of sin, and look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. In baptism, we were each anointed priest, prophet, and king. Let us together lift our voices to our God, entrusting to Him our needs and the needs of the world. Please respond, Lord, hear our prayer. For all who minister to the people of God, strengthened by the grace of their baptism, may they testify to the light of Christ in word and deed. Let us pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For areas of the world suffering due to drought and a lack of clean drinking water, may scientists and politicians come together to propose solutions and offer aid. Let us pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For all those who are incarcerated, may they know the support of a forgiving and loving community and encounter opportunities for growth and healing. Let us pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For all gathered here, nourished by the Word of God, may we be renewed in mind, body, and spirit to bring Christ's merciful love to all we meet. Let us pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who have died, that God grant them eternal peace. We pray especially for Mary, John, and Patrick McGovern, John Rivas, Lisa Ellis, and Gerardo Malo, Vida, and Luigi Mariano, who are remembered in a special way at this weekend's liturgies. Let us pray. Lord, hear our prayer. God of our compassion, despite our weaknesses and our Sinfulness, you look upon each of us as a beloved child. Hear our prayers that through the power of the Holy Spirit, we might serve you with your fidelity all the days of our lives. We ask that this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, your Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hand for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and good of all His holy church. Accept, O Lord, the offerings we have brought to you, honor the revealing of your beloved Son, so that the operation of your faithful may be transformed into the sacrifice of him who will in his compassion to wash away the sins of the world who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A lift of your heart. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly really right and just our duty and our salvation. Or wish everywhere to give your thanks, Lord, or your Father, or mighty eternal God. For in the waters of the Jordan, you revealed with your signs and wonders a new baptism, so that through the voice that came down from heaven, we might come to believe in your word, dwelling among us. 
and the wild spirit descending in the likeness of a dog, we might know that Christ, your servant, has been anointed with the oil of gladness and said to bring the good news to the poor. And so, with the powers of heaven, we worship you constantly on earth, and before your majesty, with the end, we acclaim. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and the eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Remember 
also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, my dear Father, the divinity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever.
act of a spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present, the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself to you, never permit me to be separated from you. Let us pray. Nourished with this sacred gift, we humbly enter to your mercy, O Lord, that faithfully listening to your only begotten Son, we may be your children in name and in truth, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. The Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ending. Go in peace. Thanks be to God. Our closing hymn is Send Us Your Spirit.